Hi everyone, this is Jean. Welcome. So if you have been looking for the perfect classic pump, I'm going to be reviewing two options for you guys today. So although these two popular shoes are very different in price point, I think they actually look quite similar in style. So I want to do a video review kind of comparing the two. First up, we have the Ann Taylor Perfect Pump. Comes in a box like this, and this one is in the saddle brown leather color. If you are a reader of my blog, you are probably so sick of seeing these because I really wear these with everything. I also have gray suede and um, lizard skin and black, and I think I have more at the office. So this is their classic three and a half inch heel. I think three and a half inches is a good height. Most women can handle this height and it still looks uh, work appropriate for the office. Shoe number two, we have the Christian Louboutin Simple Pumps. They come in a box like this. There's a red dust bag. And then there's a cute little drawstring bag. Let's see what's in the bag. Comes with extra heel taps for when you wear your heel taps down to the ground. You can get them replaced. Ooh. These are the Simple 100 Pumps in nude patent leather. And the 100 after the symbol stands for heel height in millimeters. So uh, 100 millimeters is approximately 3.9 inches, so a bit higher than the Ann Taylor Perfect Pumps. These also come in simple 85, which is about 3.3 inches. And there's also a simple 70, I think. When I tried these on a store, my friend said, oh, they look just like the Ann Taylor Perfect Pumps. And then I brought them home to show my boyfriend Nick, and I was like, Nick, Nick, look, aren't these beautiful? And he goes, those are just like the Ann Taylor Perfect Pumps. Why don't you return those and paint the bottom of your Perfect Pumps red? So that's his opinion. Now let's do a compare and see how they measure up against each other. First, let's talk about the cut and silhouette of the shoes. As you guys can see, let me hold it up closer. Both of these shoes have a very, very similar cut. They both have that feminine almond-shaped toe, which I like. It's not too pointy, not too round. And then from the side, you can kind of see a little bit of a difference because the Louboutins are almost half an inch higher, um, so the arch overall is higher. But they both have that similar, like, sleek, low profile. And from the back, again, almost identical. Same height, and they both have that stitching down the middle back of the shoe. Side by side, you can really see how similar the cut of both shoes are. There's exactly the same amount of toe cleavage and the sides look very similar. Let's talk about material and quality next. The Louboutin Simple Pump has a full leather upper and full leather sole. A very hard leather sole. I almost thought it was wood at first. I saw on Oprah that each pair of these shoes is made in Italy completely by hand and each pair, I think, they said touches at least 10 hands, uh, so that's just a fun fact. There's very, very minimal padding on the insole, so very hard. I think these would be a little bit uncomfortable to break in at first. And the sole is very smooth, very slippery. I would probably have to get these soled with a rubber sole, not even just to protect the sole, but also for my own personal safety. In comparison, the Ann Taylor Perfect Pump also has a full leather upper, very smooth and buttery, and a full leather sole. The sole has little ridges, so I've never had any accidents with these. And the inside is also lined in leather, and it's lightly padded. Although it's lightly padded, it's still significantly more padded than the Louboutins, and it makes these shoes more comfortable. I wear these all day, every day for work, and my feet have never hurt. One thing I will point out though that I don't like is this wooden heel. I don't know why they've started you know, doing this with a lot of their perfect pumps. I feel like the wooden heel makes it look cheaper and also more seasonal, like more spring, summer. Now let's talk about fit and sizing. The Ann Taylor Perfect Pump starts at size 5 online, but only 6, in, six and up in stores, I think. So if you are smaller than a 5, what you can do is get these heel pads or insoles on eBay like I did. Put one here in the back, and if that doesn't do it, trim another one down to size and stick it inside here on the front. And that should bring it down at least half a size, maybe even a full size. I am between size 5 and 5.5, and, 
and with any leather shoe you want to size down if you're between sizes because real leather will stretch out a little bit as you wear it. In comparison, Christian Louboutin shoes start as small as size 34, which is great for those small footed ladies out there. So I got a size 35, and although it's supposed to be the same size as this shoe, it's noticeably smaller and tighter. But the next half size up was still too big for me, so I was told to size down. Lastly, let's talk about the price point. The Ann Taylor Perfect Pumps retail in store for $155 but they almost always go on sale. I got this pair for $70 last month, so that's almost or that's over 50% off. In comparison, the Louboutin Simple 100s retail for almost four times more. If you factor in that I always get these on sale and these never go on sale, then these are probably eight times more in price. Do I think they're worth eight times more? Probably not. If you're just looking for a basic everyday pump, Go, go, go for the Ann Taylor Perfect Pumps. These are a great value, very comfortable. But if you're looking for a nicer shoe for special occasions, then this is really a shoe to consider. You are paying for the better workmanship, an Italian-made leather shoe, but you are also you know, paying the premium for the brand, the iconic label. But if it's a shoe that makes you feel more sexy or beautiful or confident, then that is worth something in itself. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my video review. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!